guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because I want to create a fall wreath. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love to create wreaths for all of the different seasons, especially fall, actually. Um, I created two last year, so I'll link those both down below. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move on over to the floor and we're going to kind of... I'm going to show you what I want to use and I'm really, really excited because I think it's going to look really good. Alright, so I dug this wreath out of a basket that I have. But basically, I have this wreath from the dollar store. Um, I think this wreath, wreath form should work. Um, so let me show you all of the things I have. I have quite a bit. So, I have this eucalyptus that I got from Michaels. And I really like it because it has some fall colors. And I originally got it for a vase. Now, what I'm thinking is I'll still use it in that vase. But it's too tall. So I think I'll just use these two and then I could use this one or vice versa so I really like this and then I also have some wheat from last year which I'm planning on using and then I have some of these also these are from Michaels these are from last year as well I use them in my last project so I want to make a wreath kind of similar to that as well so then I was digging through my, guys, if you're a DIYer, you need one of these. It is a floral basket. Most of them are from the dollar store. But a lot of them are like leftover, like this was from a project, and a lot of them are from different projects. But it's great because... I just have a basket. In the basket, I DIY'd, I braided some raffia and put it on a basket, a wire basket from the dollar store. So anyways, I dug through there a little bit. This is what I found to use. So I got this last year. I didn't end up using it for my wreath. And I do remember why. It was because I thought this was so similar. It was just... A real version of this so I think that's why I didn't use it but hopefully I will use it there's only three of them though so I don't know how that will go and then I have some leftover leaves from flowers from the dollar store hopefully I can use these and then I have these also I think I used last year for something but just really simple fall looking flowers. And then I have these also from, these are from Michaels. These were also from Michaels, but I don't know. These are also very, like, I like the warm white for fall. Um, so maybe I'll use these. And then I have this flower, which I was going to use in my last year's one, but I had an orange and a white one, and I didn't end up using both. I have a lot of white flowers that I might use. And then I have this faux eucalyptus also from last year. I used it. So, and then the last thing that I think I'm thinking about using, and I have a lot of these, but I have these, like, orange seed pod things almost I don't know they're from a tree and I'm thinking about like using them in my fall wreath because I think they're fall enough like they have a whole fall vibe but then I think I need another like kind of orange thing and I'm thinking about that oh Guys, I just remembered I have more fall stuff from last year. From the dollar store mostly. So, let me dig through here real fast. I have a hay bale, which I don't think I'm going to use. 
Um, I'll probably like give this away or something. I've never used it though. Um, and then I have two bows, which this is more of like a very fall fall. Like, I don't know. This isn't the vibe I'm going for though. And then I have one pick left. And I think I'm going to use it because... This would be the perfect fall element that would a little, because I have pumpkins, but they're larger, and I needed a small one. This would be perfect. And then I also have a burlap leaf. I don't think I'm going to use it, though. But this, this, this is perfect. The sparkles have got to go, though. Something different than the sparkles, so. Yeah, let's get started on working on this. I also have some raffia from my last project that I used a lot of raffia in. So I'm gonna start, take off the tag. One of the sides, it's like really beat up, but I think this side is nicer. So I'm gonna try and cover up this side here because it's like, all like splintery looking and stuff. Not really how we want it to look. Um, I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna start by cutting this big one. If you guys like to create lots of wreaths, make sure this is a tool you definitely need are pliers. Um, I'm just gonna try and bend this away first. Perfect, just like that and then Snip it with my wire cutter. Oh, it's tight. There we go. Did it cut? Oh, no, it didn't. There we go. So now I have this to work with, which I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. But something like this. I think that will look good. And then make, maybe I can put like the pumpkin down here and a flower. And then I can, okay, that might work. And I can just curve this in a little bit like that. Okay, okay. That might work. Another tool that will come in handy, or I guess supply, is wire. Uh, floral wire. I literally use this wire for everything. Um, but anyways, yeah, I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna like wrap it as best as I can. Okay, this is what I have so far. I just secured it down and I think I'm going to use, because I have a little bit of wire there. Maybe I can put one of these right there. Or I can put two like back to back. Maybe that will look good. Like that. Oh, I like that. Okay, let me show you. So I just secured it with some hot glue there. Um, and then I'm thinking I can put this wheat like and tuck it in. Um, I'm gonna cut like this stuff off and then just trim it down. Okay, this works. I'm gonna see if I can point it this way though. Okay, nope, that way. I think this should work. I'm gonna glue it. So I'm thinking I'll put like this flower or something at the end of the wreath. I think this flower's too big though. So I'm thinking maybe one of these and I can put a flower and the pumpkin. Hold up. Because I do need to paint the pumpkin before I do anything. Ugh, this is so hard. I like this wreath form though because you can just poke things in and like then glue it. So we could do something like that. Maybe, okay, it's too long, hold up. But I'm gonna continue kind of filling in 
as far as places with some stuff like flowers or I want to use these ones so I'm going to try and use these ones as well. This is the other option I'm thinking where we can put just the flower at the end and then a pumpkin but this is my thought process. I don't know what to do. It's really, this happens every time I try and make a wreath or we can do, I don't know, there's just a lot to use. So give yourself plenty. You probably won't end up using half of the things though. So yeah. Also, I told you I have some raffia I could use. Okay. Working on this pumpkin, I just put some air dry clay. So obviously that's gonna have to harden, but because it was just like a twig before, hopefully this will make it look better and we can paint it. This is the color I'm planning on painting the sparkly part. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna let this dry basically like, yeah. I think it looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Okay, but back here, I glued down this little thing and then one of these flowers and I decided to move this one here and then the pumpkin will go here and then this and then I cut a little leaf just to go like on the side or something. Nope, oh, can't see. But like that. And then I'll probably extend some stuff going this way because I think that would look really good. Probably not this, but... Okay, I'm sure you already know what this color is, but... Color... Reveal... Can you see? Okay. Anyways, I am going to try this color. Now I am adding baking soda, just because of the fact that our pumpkin has glitter on it. So I know you can't see right now, but basically I'm wrapping the stem with some raffia. Um, so yeah. So to add the raffia in, in, what I'm doing is wrapping it around my finger and my fingers, like three or four, and then I'm cutting them all on one side. So all of the strands on one side will be cut. Okay, so for the end here, I have an extra eucalyptus. So I'm just gonna like fold it upon itself, put a dab of glue so it stays, and then glue this like this and like that. Can you see? You can't. Let me show you. But like this, I think that looks good. And then I can put something else there. But it looks so good. I love how it looks. Okay, it's a mess. But anyways. I know it's poor lighting, but what do we think about these? I just stuck them there, but I don't know. I think it's okay just like this. Oh my god, it's so cute. guys that was it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below for new videos every single sunday most sundays um also what's your favorite season because i like fall but i don't like the weather in fall so i don't know it's kind of weird but yeah i will see you guys next time bye